when you have this kind of exponential equation, what you need to do is just to pause and think on the best approach you can use. Now, let me show you my own approach. You can discuss yours with me in the comments. So we're going to begin with solution. But remember, at the end of this solving, we are going to do a check to know if our solution is correct. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to begin this with this. We have four to the power of X. Now, I want to remind you of one of the tips, which says that if you have A to the power of M, multiply A to the power of N. It is A to the power of M plus N. This will turn to addition, okay? So if you apply it here, we're going to have two to the power of X, then this will not turn to much. So let's use dot, okay? Then two to the power of two is equal to negative three. Now, don't be too fast. We are going to do something again, okay? So that is that. Remember that four is two times two, which is two raised to power of two. So what do you do? Let's apply it here. So for this four, we are going to have two raised to power two, then raised to the power of x minus two raised to power x multiply this is equal to negative three. Now, what do you think you should do? Let me also remind you again of one of the rules that is very important, which says if you have a to the power of m raised to power n, it means a to the power of n raised to power m. This and this are the same. Observe that we only switched powers. Okay. So to do this, we are going to have here as this is giving us two to the power of x raised to the power of two. This and this are the same then minus two to the power of x multiply two raised to power two is two times two which will give us four is equal to negative three now what did you observe again you notice that two to the power of x is appearing is common so we can replace it so at this point you can just use any variable you can say let's two to the power of x we can use two to the power of x to be equal to a letter m so choose any convenient letter for yourself. So in that case, this is going to give us, I will replace this with this M. So it becomes M squared minus this. I will replace with M. So it becomes M multiplied by four. Did you see it? Is equal to negative three. So what do you do? Simplify that. And if you do that, you are going to have M squared. If you multiply this, it gives you negative 4m, then let's take this out from here. You are going to add because it's negative. So we add 3 to both sides and is equal to, if you add 3 here, it becomes 0. Interesting. So you see we have formed a quadratic eh, equation. So what do you do to this now? We are now going to get, I'm going to show you the best way, okay? There are a lot of methods you can use, but in this approach, I'm going to use the factoring method and i'm going to show you the best approach to factoring method okay so what you do is you observe that the coefficient of m square here is one so we don't have problem only what you need to do is to get two numbers that when you multiply it gives you this constant three and you get those numbers from the numbers that can divide three that's the factors of three and those two numbers when you add them together it gives you this negative four so what are the two numbers you can think, think of, think. Now, let me help you. The two numbers, we can choose three and the one, okay? So in that case, for the signs, we choose negative three and negative one because when you multiply this, it gives you positive three. Then when you add this also, it gives you negative four. So you see that. So what do you do? What you need to do, the trick, the trick now is... We are going to open two brackets because it's m squared one m will be here and another m will be here now these two values you got put one here and another here interesting so for solving this this is what we have and what does it mean when these two are equal to zero it means that m minus three is equal to zero or m minus one is equal to zero so what do you do here? Add three to both sides. If you do that, M will give us what? Three, okay? So we have M as three. 
And if you also do same here, add one here. So we are going to have m is equal to add this, it gives you one. So we have gotten two values of m, but you know the question is not on m, it's on x. So we are going to now do something to get the value of uh, x. Now remember, we made the statement that 2 to the power of x is m. So let's substitute it here. So we can say when m is equal to 3, what do we have? We are going to have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. Okay, obeying this. So we are going to have, we are going to take log of both sides to get x. So we now have log of 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. And what does that mean? Let me remind you of one of the rules of logarithm, which says if you have log a to the power of b, it is the same as use this b to multiply. It becomes b log a. So if you apply it here, what do you have? We are going to now have it to be, this will now multiply, okay? So we have x log 2 is equal to 3. So to get your x, you divide by log of 2. So we divide by log 2 and this side by log 2, okay? So remember, we need to take log of both sides. So we are also taking log of 3. Please be sorry about that. So this is also giving us log of 3, okay? So what do you do? This will now cancel. So we are going to have x is equal to we have log of 3 all over log of 2. But don't be too quick to conclude. Let me show you something. Remember, in your logarithm, that if you have log of A all over log of B, it is the same as log of A base B. Okay? We call it change of base rule. So in that case, if you apply it here, we are going to have X is equal to log of 3 then base 2. We cannot simplify anything again because these numbers are prime number. So at this point we can now leave it as this is the value of x for when m is 3. So we're going to also check for when m is 1. Let's get the value of x. So we can still say when m is equal to 1. What do you do? Remember we've already said 2 to the power of x is equal to m so it's going to be equal to one and remember in your indices we said that when you raise a number to the power of zero it gives you one so in that case what do you do for this one we can choose to say let it be two to the power of zero because we have it as also one we are doing this so that we can have common base okay so in that case we have two to the power of x is 1, so it's going to be 2 to the power of 0. So what does it mean? You see, the bases are now the same. Automatically, the powers will be equal. So we can now say, equate your power, x will be equal to 0. So we now have it that when x is this, this is our, when m is 1, this is our x. And when m is 3, our x is equal to log of 3 base 2. So we're going to check with these two values to know if our answers are correct. Let's check for when x is 0, let's see if it gives us negative 3. So we're going to have for when x is 0, we have 4 raised to the power of 0 minus 2 to the power of 0 plus 2. Okay, is it giving us negative 3? And you know, when you raise a number to the power of 0, According to indices is 1. So this is giving us 1 minus, add this, it gives us 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2. Is it equal to negative 3? 2 to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, giving us 4. So we have 1 minus 4. And 1 minus 4, is it equal to negative 3? 1 minus 4 will give us negative 3. And is equal to negative 3. So this is correct for when x is a 0. So let's check for when x is this. So we can now check for when x is log of 3 base 2. So what do you do? We're going to put this here to have 4 raised to the power of log of 3 base 2 minus 2 raised to the power of log of 3 base 2, then plus 2. Is it going to be equal to negative 3? Let's find out. Remember this tip. 
the anti-logarithm rule, which says that if you have a raised to power of log x base a, we are the base of the log and this base are the same. Your answer should be equal to this x. Now, but when you look at this, you notice that here, the bases are not the same, but we're going to do something. Now, let me show you what you will do. So we're going to have, remember that 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2, okay? So in that case, we have 2 raised to the power of 2, log 3 base 2, then, so we have log 3 base 2 minus 2 raised to the power of log 3 base 2, okay? Then plus 2. Let's see if it gives us negative 3. So when a number comes before the log, it becomes the power of the next number, okay? So here we're going to have 2 will be raised to, we have log of this 3 will be raised to the power of this 2, then base 2. Did you see that? Now, for this, remember this, when we apply the rule here, that addition means you are going to split it to have a base and you multiply so they're going to have a common base of 2. So we're going to have 2, then we have log 3 base 2, okay? Will be multiplied by the same base 2, okay? Will be raised to the power of these 2, so that you can add their powers since the bases are the same and they are both multiplying. Did you see that? So in that case, we're going to have, remember this rule, we're going to now have this and this are the same, so the bases are the same. So in that case, we are going to have 3 to the power of 2, okay? Then minus, for this, this and this are the same. So the value will be 3, okay? So 3 will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 is 2, multiplied by 2 to give us 4. I hope you see that. So this is going to give us 3 raised to the power of 2 is 3 times 3 to give us 9. Minus, multiply this, use your board mass, okay? This will multiply to give us 12. Then 9 minus 12 is going to give us negative 3 as an answer. And that is what we have here at the right side of the equation. So what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is that x equal to 0 is correct. And also x equal to log of 3 base 2 is also correct. So these are the two values of uh, x. And I hope you really learned a lot. Let's know how much in the comments. Remember, sharing this will help more people to learn the skills we displayed here, especially those that find it so challenging. If this helps you, please give this tutorial a thumbs up and subscribe for the more tips you will get from us. See you in our next class. Bye.